Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to a mod showcase. This time we're looking at the ultimate car mod. And as you can see, there are a few cars behind me. We've got a transporter here. There's a regular car at the back and a green sports car at the front. And uh, you can craft them using the workshop, which I've uh, built over here. But uh, we're going to get to that a little bit later. For now, we're going to look at building a petrol station. Because if you want to drive a car, you're going to need some fuel. So I've, uh, I've built these roads here. And uh, they lead down the hill to a little petrol station down here. But uh, if, you, if we go and have a look, uh, these petrol stations have no fuel in them. So we're going to have to find a way to make fuel. Uh, luckily you can do that as well in the ultimate car mod. We're going to make a, basically a fuel production here and uh, we're going to use uh, canola oil to power our cars. So the first thing you need is an oil mill. Let's take a quick look at some of these recipes. The oil mill here, uh, it's not too difficult to make, but you will need some iron. You just need a uh, piston surrounded by iron. So let's go and put our oil mill down somewhere like, uh, like that. And uh, we're going to have to power these things as well. So the canola grows up. Um, just like that and you can break it you can get the canola and the seeds back it works just like wheat it gives you uh, canola so I'm going to place the canola in the oil mill uh, we do need to power it though and uh, in the beginning you're going to have to power it manually so I'm going to use a dynamo here and what we do uh, I should show you the recipe for that the dynamo you can always pause this video if you want to uh, just slow down a little bit I'm going to be going fairly quickly because there's a lot we've got to get through it's not it's not easy uh, producing fuel so uh, the dynamo uh, makes power manually we need iron ingots around the sides like that plus a control unit the control unit is used is made with uh, some sand some redstone and some iron ingots around the edge so that's how we make the uh, that's how we make the dynamo. Uh, we're going to manually power this by using a crank. The crank is just uh, three sticks like that. So that's pretty easy. And uh, so let's go and put the crank in there. And if we just hold down the right mouse button, as you can see, it's powering up there, but it's not connected yet to the oil mill. So we're going to have to use uh, a cable to connect these two things together. The cable, is, uh, the cable is redstone with cable insulator and the cable insulator is just white wool like that. So it's not too difficult to make the cable. Let's go and connect these two things together. And as you can see, that's powering away. Let's have a quick look. There's a little bit of stored power in there and uh, the canola. It does take quite a lot of the effort. Uh, as you can see, the mill is, is spinning around there. It will eventually make uh, some oil, which is what we need, but uh, we need to send this oil somewhere. Uh, it's almost made it. Let, let's go and wait. Oh, there's a little. Oh, there's a little cricket there. Uh, let's let's uh, make at least one little bit of oil, and I'll show you what that looks like, and then we'll pump that out into a tank or something. There we go. So it makes uh, some stored oil. It also makes a little bit of rape cake, uh, which is the canola cake, and you can actually feed this to anything that eats wheat. Um, so you can use that to feed your animals as well. So we're going to send out the oil here, uh, the uh, just the regular stored oil into, now we need to send it into the back mix reactor. Uh, where shall I put this back mix reactor? Um, let's put it over here for now. And uh, we're going to have to extract this. Let's have a look at these recipes. The back mix reactor is made with iron ingots, a tank, the control unit that we've seen before, um, and also just a regular tank here as well, which is made with glass and iron. So that's the back mix reactor. And we're going to have to use an extractor to get out the fluid, to get out the oil, and a fluid pipe as well. So we'll go for the fluid pipe as well. It's pretty easy to make. It's just iron like that. It makes the fluid pipe and the fluid extractor is just iron and then two fluid pipes like that and that actually makes floor, four fluid extractors so we're going to we're going to uh, shift click and put that down there then we're going to use the fluid pipes and uh, let's just bring them across into the uh, the back mix reactor here um, i may actually just put it on this side here there we go Actually, no, I'll put it on this side because we need to bring in another um, another liquid in the other side. So um, let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's that's disappearing from there. It's going to appear into the, the back mix reactor. There we go. We've got the stored oil. Now, we also need some methanol, and uh, we do that by using a blast furnace. So I'm going to put a blast furnace over here. We need to um, 
to fire up the, the spruce wood here. Uh, we need to power this as well, unfortunately, and that will turn into methanol plus coal. I'm just gonna break that cable for a second. We're going to get this going, and as you can see, it's powering up on the right there. And uh, after a little while, we should uh, uh, have some methanol. Now, there is a way to do this automatically. So you don't have to stand here uh, turning the crank in order to power these machines, luckily. But we will need some biofuel. Well, that's almost done. Okay, a little bit more, a few more turns, and uh, we should be done here. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so that has made uh, some charcoal and some stored methanol. Now we want to send the methanol out as well. So let's use the let, let's use the uh, the fluid extractor and the the pipes, and uh, let's. Um, it's probably a good idea to send these pipes underground so you don't have to worry about them, but for now this will suit our purpose. Uh, the back mix reactor, unfortunately, also needs power. So what I'm going to do is set up another little dynamo over here. Let's set up another little dynamo and a cable going to that. Oh, cable going to, let's put the cable down there. Let's put another crank and uh, let's get some power. And as you can see, the, the back mix reactor is working here. It's um, mixing those two oils together. It's almost done. Let's just get this done. Let's get one of these done manually uh, and then we'll set up an automatic system. So it does take a little while in the beginning, but once you have the biofuel, you'll be able to power a generator and power this all automatically. So that will be pretty cool. All right, is that done? It's done. Okay, so we've got some stored canola methanol mix and uh, we're not done yet. <laughs> it's, it's not, I told you it wasn't easy making fuel. Um, so just a bit of a recap here. We've got the sesame oil and we've got the burner. The, the, the blast furnace to make methanol, and we're grabbing those two liquids, bringing them into the, uh, the back mix reactor. We're powering this as well, and that makes stored canola methanol. Now, we're going to have to take the, the fluids out of here as well uh, once we have the methanol. So let's go and do that. Let's bring the, the fluid pipe uh, just across over here, and we're going to stick them into a split tank, and that's going to split up the different liquids. Let's have a look at how to make the split tank. It's not too difficult either. The ironing, it's a glass, and then a couple of tanks in the middle. And uh, we're going to put, let's just, uh, oh, let's just uh, make that daytime again. There we go. Okay, so we've got the tank here. We're going to place the tank, um, not, not a tank, I should say. We want the split tank. And it's going to split those liquids. There we go, we've got the split tank there. Now on one side, we can extract one kind of liquid. And as you can see, as you can see the liquid has already gone in there. It takes a little while for that to process. Um, and that will process into uh, bio uh, biofuel and uh, biodiesel and glycerin. Now the glycerin isn't used for anything, so we're just going to uh, get rid of that. We do want the biofuel. Let's put another extractor over here. Let's first of all find a way to get rid of this glycerin. So let's just bring some pipes over to, uh, let's just bring some pipes uh, just over this direction here. Where am I going with this? Let's just send this out. And then once you've, um, once you've found somewhere for the uh, the glycerin, you can just throw it out every now and again, or just leave it, it doesn't matter. Maybe sometime in the future there will be um, something that you can do with it. But for now, we're just gonna put it into the tanks. Now the tanks do collect together. They do connect together so that you can make a really large storage tank. As you can see, it goes into all of the three. That is the wrong substance. What we need to do is set up a filter so that we don't lose our biofuel. So if you click on the extractor here, as you can see, there is a fluid filter. Now we want glycerin to go out. There we go. So it's filtering glycerin. So everything that's not glycerin will remain in the tank. Um, I think we've just lost our, our biodiesel though, but let's, let's just go and do this nonetheless. So let's go and put the tanks there that's connected up and that will fill up with, that is filling up a little bit there with glycerin. Now we want the biofuel to go to these fuel tanks over here. So we're going to um, select the right filter here. There we go, biodiesel is going to be coming out of this side of the split tank. We're gonna bring this down and this hopefully will go straight down into the, the fuel tank here, the fuel station. Uh, there we go, okay. So this has got nothing in there at the moment. So we need to really get this going. Um, as I said, in the beginning, you will need to do it, to do it manually. Um, I'd suggest sending, instead of sending it out to the station, you send it out to a tank 
and then you grab the biodiesel with a bucket and then you can use that to power a generator. So that's the, that's the basic process of manually creating fuel. Um, the canola oil and the, um, the blast furnace, creating the two oils, mixing them together, uh, putting them into a, a split tank and then splitting them off. Uh, the glycerin goes out into the rubbish bin, basically, and the biodiesel goes out to either a tank or to the fuel station here. So that's what we've got set up. Now, what, what I want to do is uh, once you've got that set up, you can actually use a generator to make this process much, much faster. So let's have a look at the recipe for a generator. The generator is iron. It uses the control unit that we've looked at before, and I'll show you that once more. It's redstone surrounding some uh, sand with iron ingots in the corners and we also need something new here the three-cylinder engine and this is what we're going to be putting in the cars as well let's go and have a look at this this is made with flint uh, blocks of iron so you will need a lot of iron and then we need three engine pistons the engine pistons aren't too hard they're just an iron ingot with sticks of iron the sticks of iron are just made with two iron ingots um, just like that. So one more quick look at the generator here, the three iron and the sides, uh, the tank, the three cylinder engine and the control unit at the top will give us a, a generator and this is going to power everything so much quicker. So let's just get rid of this stuff. I don't want these, uh, I don't want to have to do stuff manually. So let's go and I guess we can put the generator in the middle. Um, actually let's, it doesn't really matter. Let's put the generator over here. And I'm going to use cables. Let's run these cables under the ground, actually. Let's power this one first. There we go. So this is not powered at all. But what we need here is biofuel. So it is powered by biofuel. So once you do this manually and you do have some biofuel, you can grab a few buckets and then um, grab the bio uh, the biodiesel bucket and then stick it in the generator and this is just going to work really really fast let's have a look so it's powering up as you can see really really fast this thing's going look how much energy is in here and this thing is uh, turning the canola into uh, the oil here and that's automatically going out into the mixer now we need to get the other side of this going as well so that we can mix both of the oils equally so let's quickly um, just get a cable down here to the blast furnace as well um, there we go, and that's powered up really quickly as well, and that's going to turn into methanol. So this is all working really well uh, in the back mixer. The back mixer, his, uh, we need to power the back mixer as well. Okay, so let's, let's just continue this uh, along to the back mixer, and this should just work fine if we do it this way. There we go. Okay, so that's powered up. There we go, powered up. Now it's got the oil. It's got the methanol that's going to turn into canola, um, into canola methanol, and that is going to the split mixer over here. As you can see, it's, it's getting stored. Now we don't need to power the split mixer, but it does take a little bit of time. So we're just waiting for the progress to reach 100%. Now, if you remember at the beginning, we had no fuel in here. Um, there's still no fuel, but we're just waiting for the split mixer. So I'm just gonna give it a little minute or two and uh, we'll see how things are going. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Let's go and have a look and see if this fuel is working. So everything is still running fine. Uh, we've got the oil coming into the uh, the mixer, into the split tank, and uh, let's go and have a look over here at this tank first of all. It looks like it is filling up with glycerin. And uh, this is the main one though, the biodiesel. Let's see if our free uh, petrol station is actually working the fuel station it has 500 fuel in there so it is filling up it is going fairly slowly so it probably would be a good idea to have uh, multiple split mixes because this is really the slow process here this is going to fill up with canola methanol it just takes a long time to turn that into biodiesel so i think a good idea would be having maybe four or five of the split mixes next to each other and then you can send them all off to the different uh, fuel stations and that would be pretty cool. Anyway, this is how you make fuel. In the next episode, we're going to have a look at how to build the cars. But uh, yeah, this is the most complex process. So building the cars uh, isn't that difficult. Hopefully you followed along. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon for another Mod Showcase.